That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. Because <laughs> <laughs> my portfolio probably was like, um, it was up by like 4, 42%. Then it went down to like 20, 23. In this space was like two weeks. And for those of you, for those of like who don't understand like what, what that sort of lingo means, could you like explain what, in, like, oh, why so, is it a good thing to be up 43 and down 20? So basically it's like, um, for example, so for example, in my case, like for example, if you're managing, for example, 1 million, if you're at 40%, that means like you own 400,000, 450,000, so on, so on, like that's how it works. So, so for me, it's like, it was something like, something along the, like, something along the lines and then for it to drop down to 20%, because for me, I, it was a big drop and then everyone's like, ah, oh, and, and get all the investors saying, oh yeah, we'll take our money back, rah, rah, because like they want their money back really, you know, because they're thinking this is bad right now because, and the, oh, for me as well, it was a situation where like, I was going to stop anyway, like during, like, I was going to stop like, because I wanted to go traveling. That was my plan. So I was gonna go traveling. So I thought, like, yeah, I'll stop from April, end of end of April. I can just focus on my uni, go traveling. So that was what my plan was. So, and then for that to happen, where I was like literally like one month away from like getting like like double the amount of money I was I was gonna, I got and at the end that was like massive. Like that was like a massive like downturn for me. Like that was really affecting me a lot because. I was budgeting, you know, like, like you know, when you have you see money, yeah, and you budget the money, <laughs> yeah. Budget the money ahead, you don't even have it. <laughs> After, like, you know, a lot of people do that with their paychecks; they spend it before they even get it. No, no, but your monthly, next monthly paycheck, but like, you mean what the shift yet? Exactly what I'm saying, isn't it? So obviously, that was like a really painful thing as well. And then what's worse is like, um, when, when it was happening, I was stuck in Italy. Oh exactly. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Ooh, that was the worst place to be at the time. Like I went to Italy on the eighth eighth of March. Then on the tenth of March, they they declared a lockdown, like a, like a whole national national lockdown. And then, then literally, like I was asleep here, and I woke up here at like five a.m. Yeah, I saw oh. I, I saw a message from BA saying your flight has been cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, listen, I was listen, I'm gonna go back to sleep, but that's bad vibes. I got tomorrow, isn't it? No, so, no. I was just like, yeah, this is bad. So like that was that that was the things where like I was thinking, well, maybe this is actually worse than I thought. That's, that's when I started realizing maybe I need to start like pulling back on some investments and just like start of trade, start buying other stuff like that. So that's what I started doing. So and then like one of but one of, but then that's the downside of it. But this upside of it has been more than the downside because like. Whereas everything is going down below, like everything's going down, you can buy it down. You know? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you can buy it when the stock when the prices are low. So the companies, for example, like Apple, like um, you know, Apple, Disney, um, Google, um, like obviously, I, I don't like Amazon because I, I don't like Jeff Bezos the way he does his company. It's just to say, <laughs> I'll never buy any Amazon stock in my life because I don't like Jeff Bezos, but. But everyone like kind of Microsoft, work, those kind of companies, like those, for example, like you know, Apple has a lot of um, has a lot of um, like their balance sheets are really really good. So like they've got a lot of cash, like they make a lot of money all the time. So like they're not really they're part they're they're, 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 like, they're one of the few companies who are still buying back stock, like 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 their stocks. Most companies are literally selling the stocks, trying to get more money, get more cash flow in the company. Apple is still buying their own stock. That's how much money they have. Right. What does that mean if they're buying back their own stocks? So basically, a company has a re- like um releases stock right into in, into public right, and then they can then into for example, you can buy it, I can buy it, whatever. But sometimes the company buys it back, so they retain the ownership of the stock of their own stocks. So like the, so like the, so like the, the, the dividends go to back to Apple stuff like that. I mean, so a lot of companies are not are not doing that. And companies and Apple is still giving out dividends. A lot of companies that have stopped giving out dividends. So those kind of, for example, Google, Apple kind of companies, they're doing, they're doing that. They're, they're, they're doing really well in that case, in that scenarios. But then like there's other companies that, for example, if you, I don't know if you heard, like Bella Italia has gone bust. They've five, five Yeah, companies. I heard about that. They were just above, like they were just trying to hang in there before it happened, right? And then yeah, all of this, yeah, and then that was the end. That's, this was the final straw for them. This is the final show, show for them. So um yeah, so better has gone bankrupt and um it's one of those, it's one of those things, isn't it really, isn't it? Like you can't really you can't really make this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, for real.